hello hello and welcome to my channel again for another weekly journal my name is katarina and i'm the person behind by katarina design and i'm happy to come here every week or at least uh, this is what i'm trying to show you what i was working on during the week what are my projects and um, some other stuff so let's just get started First, just a reminder because I already, uh, well, when I was filming the um, uh, last week weekly journal, I didn't know that I will be able to post the um, census skirt uh, pattern, but I, uh, <laughs> I uh, put the links uh, when I was publishing the video because it was uh, out actually Friday and this weekly journal video came out. Uh, Saturday so by the time that you saw the weekly journal the pattern and video tutorial for the sensor skirt was already out there so but that is a reminder is out there I will put it again into the description box the link for the written pattern and the, um, the video tutorial now what I was focused on this week at least until now is um, on the, the the dress with the motifs with the circle motifs I kind of uh, showed you last week uh, a bit or at least uh, so this is the progress so far, how it's looking. I know that it looks like it has a big wide neck, but uh, with the border, I will make this, I will do some decreases and it will be uh, um, nice and not that wide. And uh, yeah, I was thinking when I first started to work on this, that I will go for a top and maybe to make a skirt also just to split the dress into top and skirt but my friend uh, for who I made the black dress came um, last week and tried it on and then she said oh this is such a lovely dress and I can wear it uh, I don't know with some boots and uh, going on the beach on a late evening having some coffee so I really love the idea so now I'm kind of into the dress again so I don't know uh, to finish the top I will just have to this is kind of the length and I have uh, just the three motifs on the back to put. Uh, after that, I will film the tutorial and make the border for the neckline because, uh, yeah, I, when I'm working like top down or something like that, I want to uh, be perfectly from the beginning. So I will film this uh, in the next couple of days, the neckline shaping, and uh, I will see why I was do I will do that if um, I will go for the dress or not um, in this stage right now uh, kind of the tutorial and I can write the pattern as well because for the length you can go with as many motifs as you like until you get to the desired length so now basically you just repeat uh, there are kind of uh, two different rounds uh, motif rounds on how you place the the motifs the circles that you keep repeating until getting to the desired length so I don't need to film anything uh, any more process except the uh, progress except the neckline and maybe the cuffs how to um, make the edge straight and how to add the border so basically i'm kind of uh, finishing this right now except if i want to make it like a long dress then i will need to finish it so it will be like for photos and everything to have it done 
but yeah this is kind of my focus my main focus right now because i want to finish this uh, uh, next week it will be June already and I kind of want to publish this pattern in the first two weeks of the June so wish me luck and uh, to be able to have enough time for this now last week we were talking I was uh, showing you a ripple pattern uh, a swatch that I made and uh, some of you asked me to make like um, a top using the ripple stitch but i told you from the last week that i'm into a skirt i don't know why but i'm into bottoms right now and uh, yeah i started a skirt now it's uh, kind of pretty wide because i don't want to be like a uh, close fit on uh, my body but I will put here, um, I need to make this edge straight because now it's kind of having the same ripple effect. And then I will use, of course, an elastic band to make it um, uh, to stay on the, on the waist. So this is how it's looking so far. I, know, I kind of love the colors. Uh, they will be repeated like in the same uh, in the same um, in the same way and if I will have enough time I think uh, I might want to make a top as well because it's um, it's really nice but um, I will see and uh, yeah this is what I was working on because it's again a top-down skirt so I needed to I put it on hold a bit because I needed to just uh, film the first part of the skirt because otherwise if I'm getting into the, the process then it will be difficult unless I'm doing a second piece so I already filmed and repeated um, uh, rounds and now I just need to go um, to add more length until I will reach the design line I want to be a maxi skirt this one I don't know I find it really nice but I hope I will have enough yarn for for it and uh, what I was uh, working on is uh, as well but I it looks like this uh, is taking me so much time I don't know why so this is the back panel of the purple love cardigan which I designed in uh, 2018 or 19 I don't remember exactly and uh, the pattern needs a makeover and I got this um, uh, this yarn from um, oh, how it's called how it's called arcane fiber Sorry. and I will put a link because uh, they gave me gave me like an affiliate link I hope um, to have it done and set it up until um, I will publish this video I will try to put a link into the description below if not I will just post a, a website link because um, I think I will get a discount code for you in case you want to purchase this beautiful yarn. This is um, uh, Merino and it's called, the color it's called Peacock and it's really, really beautiful. And I can't wait to finish this because it will look really nice. Yep. But if I only will have more hours in during the day or at least uh, at least to have uh, I don't know four hands it would be easier for me it wasn't uh, so many things that I was working on because uh, during the weekend we went to an attraction park here in Efteling, in here in Netherlands at the afternoon and uh, I forgot to take my yarn with me so we got such a nice cottage where we stay overnight and uh, with a nice terrace and I could stay there and just crochet during the evenings but I forgot my yarn and because we didn't went with our car just one friend um, another uh, a friend drove us there and because of that um, I was uh, I wasn't I was like after realizing that I forgot my yarn I was like how to say it if it was like only us I will just 
turn and um, come back home uh, and pick it up because uh, I kind of realized that I don't have my yarn pretty soon in our trip but yeah so I didn't have too much time to crochet during the weekend or to do something so that's why I don't have too much progress on everything but yeah this is um, this is what it is okay my next thing it's my evening project I told you that sometimes I just need a relaxing evening project especially when my uh, daughter is uh, um, at school because uh, she's um, her sleeping hour is um, earlier so I have enough time like maybe a couple of hours to just work on something and it's the knitted sweater that I showed you um, I think a couple of weeks ago that I'm uh, for which I'm using the um, Will Addicts have uh, Will Addicts uh, sock yarn, and um, I'm using gain millimeters uh, needles for this sweater. So I want it to be really lacy for summer. Like I'm imagining, uh, I don't know, going on the beach and just wanted to put something in the evenings and this just looks perfect for it I know it's not perfect my tension is not pretty even but yeah I kind of like it and I have two colorways for I think I told you already two colorways uh, of this yarn and uh, because I wanted to, I don't know, not to use one ball and then continue with the other. I'm just alternating at the three rows so it will look like nice and I kind of love it how it is. It's looking like a painting, no? It's pretty nice. I'm kind of halfway through the body until I will get to the armpit. So yeah, I hope I will finish this soon because I really, really like it. Kitty. Yeah, so this was another project uh, that I was work, kind of working on during the evenings and the Lindsay bag. I let it, I let this project at the end because uh, we will have a tutorial for the trunk pattern right away in a, in a few minutes. And I just want to show you how it's looking so far okay so this is the stitch pattern a kind of shell stitch pattern i know that uh, Lindsay required to have like uh, if i remember correctly in width between 25 30 centimeters this is having like uh, 34 but i want it a bit bigger because i wanted like a summer bag and i always have some um, yarn projects with me that i'm carrying all, all the way so i didn't want it to be too small but yeah, uh, the base can be uh, made smaller. I told you, I explained you last week how to make the base and have the tutorial here during the weekly journal. So uh, if you want to make it smaller, you can simply start with um, less stitches for the best chain. I had 39 plus the two where the increases are made. So to keep the same, uh, um, uh three stitches uh, multiple you'll simply going for a 36 or 33 and so on and you will get a smaller base also if you want to um go with it to be wider the space you can do so i explained you into the uh, previous um uh, previous video how, how to continue and make the increases and get uh, wider not wider like this but like this <laughs> base so now let's just um, go and uh, show you how to make this uh, shell stitch pattern or how to continue working on the trunk of the of the um, of the bag and uh, yeah i don't have too much progress uh, of this because um, i'm working with a four millimeter crochet hook this uh, two millimeter um, uh, 
macrame cord yarn and uh, because in the last period I work only with lace, with lace or thinner yarn I find it really difficult and I need to take a lot of breaks because uh, otherwise my wrist won't be happy about it so yeah I hope I will finish the trunk by the next week I'm not promising because I want to show you how to finish up maybe talk a bit about the handles because Lindsay also asked uh, on how to uh, to use um, some hardware for uh, handles uh, I won't put leading on this uh, bag because it's a summer bag but um, I uh, tend to explain also how to do it usually I'm trying not to put leading <laughs> this is not because I don't want to I love to put leading on the bags but just because I don't have a sewing machine and um, I used to uh, line my bags with um, sewing by hand but I don't feel like it's getting the, the polish look like a, that I would want to. So that's why I'm trying to uh, not put a lid in. But maybe because I had that pink bag made with 5mm micro cord, which I reused a shopper bag. And maybe I will try to do this um, as a leaning because in this way I don't need to... Uh, so the the shape of it i just need to attach it to the bag we will see there are a few more things that we need to discuss about the bag after we will finish the um, the trunk the trunk i think the body of the bag and yeah so these were the things that i was working on uh, this week and now that we are done with that i will show you how uh, the stitch pattern for the trunk of the bag and how we continue from uh, the base how we continue the bag so let's do it We will continue now to work on uh, Lindsay bag, but I want to tell you a few things about the size. So my base measure approximately 34 centimeters. And if I'm looking according with my gauge, if you want, you can just uh, make in the circle a small circle and see or a small oval and see how many stitches do you have and I have three centimeters from when I where I started to increase from the base chain so three centimeters one side three centimeters one side so six centimeters this means that my uh, chain my base chain measure like uh, 34 minus 6 is like 28 centimeters so if I want to have it smaller then I will go let's just say I want to go with 26 or 30 centimeters then from 30 I will remove the six centimeters and then means that my chain needs to have my base chain needs to have um, uh, 24 centimeters and then I'm trying to figure it out of course it's easier if you're making a gauge swatch how many stitches do I need to chain okay and of course then you need to see and uh, adjust it according with the number of chains that you will need to have all around for the pattern that you will want to use for the for the back now i will remove all the stitch markers because i don't need them anymore and for a few rounds i will continue and work one single crochet into each stitch so no increasing this time so 
so I will go all around with single crochet stitches and then after a few rounds I think I will make because here I have like one two three four and I think I will work 10 11 rounds like this to have maybe a border like this in single crochet when start working on the back because this single crochet rounds will um, better sustain the heaviness of what you're putting in the back so I think it will hold better okay let's just go and single crochet all around okay after finishing the this row i will start now to make like an invisible slip stitch because i want to make this joining as less visible as possible because now we will get and working on the trunk let's see if we can do that so i just slip stitch just in the uh, through the back loop only from back through to front and now when i'm going to make the first single crochet i'm trying to get through both loops like this and working directly a single crochet so without any chaining and now we will continue working i think now that i will want to make 10 rounds but i will see how it will get And now because we're not increasing the rows will start to be like this so it will get the shape of the back okay i will keep working the rounds in single crochet over here and we will meet after i will finish this border to continue and work on the back so this is how it will take shape okay i worked only six rows for this uh, border over here and i think it's more than uh, it's enough so i won't go further because if I'm adding this, then the stitch pattern and then adding uh, six more rows at the end, I think it will be, uh, it will look really nice. And now we will start with the stitch pattern repeat after I figure it out how is this yarn over here. So the first stitch in the row will be a single crochet then we will chain three and then skip the next two stitches and go with a single crochet into the next single crochet and we're creating this loops and we will repeat one two three skip two stitches and single crochet one two three two stitches a single crochet and we will repeat until the end of the round okay now to finish the round we have two stitches left here so i will chain three 
and then slip stitch into the first single crochet. I started to use a smaller hook when making the slip stitch because I find it difficult to grab all this strands of yarn okay and now the second we will start working on the second round and then you will need to repeat these two rounds so first we will chain three which will count as a first double crochet and then into the same stitch we will work two more double crochet stitches so one and two so we have three single crochet and then i'm going into the three chain space and make a single crochet and now again into the single crochet we are working one two and three and then single crochet and this will be kind of a sort of a shell stitch one two and three and then single crochet and we will repeat this pattern to the end of the round okay to finish the row so i uh, did the three double crochet then into the last three chain space I'm going to single crochet and then slip stitch into the third chain. Now we will work again the spaces round, but for this I need to start from the middle single crochet. So I'm going here with the slip stitch and then make a single crochet and now if you want the spaces to be bigger when working um, the chain spaces you can uh, chain more stitches than, uh, than three. So I will still continue and chain three, but if you want, you can try to chain four and then going into each group of uh, three double crochet into the middle and make a the um, make the single crochet so again chain three and going into the middle double crochet and work the single crochet chain three and go into the middle double crochet and then you will have to repeat this two rows until you get to the desired length of the bag for now uh because i'm uh doing this along this video along while i'm working on the bag i don't know exactly how many rounds we will work here maybe when editing the video and i will uh, have everything i will put something on the screen knowing from this right moment how many rounds to work if not you just need to watch the video further and see how many rounds i worked for the length or simply go and work as many rounds as you like
Okay, so I think this was it for today. By the way, today I'm wearing the late summer blouse. This is the first sample I did. It was, uh, I had another sample in just another variegated yarn. And I have a video tutorial and a written pattern for this somehow. It was a bit, um, at least from the, um, some feedbacks that I got, it's not the easiest pattern to work with because uh, we have different stitches to work on and somehow here you're doing some increases to shape the neckline but I have to uh, admit that you can go with the straight, it's not a problem, you don't need that V shape because it's um, like an oversized fit anyway. So um, if you want to check it out, I will just put a link uh, into the description box and maybe it pops over here, <laughs> the link for the video tutorial. And uh, yeah, I think that was it for today. And uh, thank you so much for being here with me for another weekly journal. And uh, don't forget if you have uh, any questions, suggestions, so you can use the link uh, into the description below or simply comment. Lately, I wasn't uh, pretty active in answering comments because uh, it was uh, pretty busy over here, but I'm trying to catch up and get through those comments as soon as possible. So anyways, Thank you for all your support of being here and uh, see you next week. Bye.